What's up guys and check it out! I found my first Endgame Wave 2 figure and it's Professor Hulk with the gauntlet! Yeehaw! Although technically I also have the Iron Spider and Black Panther from Wave 2 as well because Hasbro just repackaged the Infinity War Iron Spider and Black Panther movie Black Panther into the Endgame box, but... Whatevs. You can check out Iron Spidey's review right up here if you want, and I actually never reviewed that Black Panther, so... Hmm. Ah, well. Either way, I'm super stoked to finally find the Hulk man, so let's get this review started. Now, starting with box from, we got the new glam shot of the Hulk there, the open packaging, and we're still missing the Endgame subtitle. Here's one side, the top, the other side, and the bottom with the UPC. And on the back, we get a bigger picture of the Hulk there, some wording if you want to read that. The same dudes we've seen before, and some Lego Jumbo. And there he is, guys, Professor Smart Hulk and his gauntlet. Or should we say Iron Man's gauntlet, but you, you guys seen the movie, you know how it goes. Anyways, let's go ahead and get a closer look. Now starting with the head, we get another nice head sculpt. It's actually pretty nicely detailed and looks great overall, but it's actually the exact same head sculpt as the tech suit Hulk. See? Exact same head sculpt. Even on the sides there with that nice hairdo. Even on the back with the continued nice hairdo. On the other side as well, and also the top. The main difference though is that Tech Suit Hulk has black eyes, while this new Hulk has, look at that, kind of a yellowy orange eye there to simulate the power of the Infinity Stone. So, so that's a pretty cool touch. And moving on to the body, we get his new jumpsuit. Now, I think this suit is accurate to the movie, but honestly, I wasn't really paying attention because I was too busy staring at the Infinity Gauntlet. He has some nice muscle sculpting overall, and if you look closely, you can actually see there's some texturing that goes all over the suit body, which is pretty cool. The paint is fairly clean overall. There's some little patches missing and stuff, but it's okay. It's not too bad. And here's a back that has a little continuation of the paint from the front there, as you can see, looking pretty sweet. And he actually has some paint right down there, which is nice. Nothing on the back itself, but it's got some nice details, so I'll take it. And the Hulk has a muscular arm as usual, and the suit texturing continues on to the arm there. Got some nice purple on the inside there, and this symbol is actually pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of a Wi-Fi symbol or a slice of pizza, but either way, it's, it's kind of cool. I kind of dig it. Get the little purple on his hand there, and then there's his hand in a fist, which is the same as the other hand. Both hands are fists, so he's definitely not going to be holding anything. Now, what's interesting about this Hulk is he doesn't have that soft rubber arm as the other Hulk. Hulk had. It's actually really hard plastic, which is kind of interesting. It has a nice feel to it, too. It actually feels kind of premium, so uh, it's cool. And moving on to the legs here, we get that super awesome, really buff rhino legs. He has more of that suit texturing that goes all throughout the legs there, and his little suit design here actually looks pretty cool. The paint is pretty cleanly applied overall, you know, little, little bleeds there and there, but not too bad. This side looks pretty clean as well, and overall, I'd say it's not too shabby. And here's a close look at his feet there with his sculpted in toes and toenails which is always a nice touch although there's a little bit of paint like I don't know what that is bleed or blotch off there Eh, no big deal. And then there's the bottom with the Lego Jumbo. And for articulation, his head rotates in a circle and has a little bit of side to side and a little bit of up and down. And his arm rotates in a circle, shoulder joint goes up that much, elbow also bends and spins. There we go. And his legs go forward, not very much, and not back at all. Alright, now let's look at the main attraction. The Gauntlet. This is one seriously detailed gauntlet, guys. Just look at that. It's like Hasbro pulled out all the stops sculpting this. You got all these micro details put everywhere on that gauntlet. They just really did a great job. Look at the top here. Look at that. They even added that portion right there. Looks absolutely fantastic. And check out the stones here. They even individually painted them and everything. And it actually looks like a stone. You know, it's not just a paint blob. So that's pretty nice. The Mind Stone looks particularly awesome. And that nice silver there is pretty nice as well. Now, I know the details are probably not quite accurate to the movie's gauntlet, but at least this one's all red, unlike the, you know, big gauntlet that I reviewed earlier. And here's a look at the inside of the gauntlet. Pretty plain, not much to see there. It just stays on his arm through tension, and it's really soft and bendy too. Check that out. So it should be pretty durable. And to put it on his arm, you simply just put that right in there and then you just push it in. Boom, just like that. And as you can see, it's actually a perfect cutout and a perfect fit. Not loose, it's not gonna flop anywhere. Check that out, not going anywhere. And it looks really nice, check that out. 
And that's what he looks like with the gauntlet. Looking pretty cool. I mean, just check that out. I, I really dig it. I'm really happy that they made a Hulk and they gave him a removable gauntlet, which is just super awesome. And if you're like me, you're probably thinking, hmm, will this gauntlet fit on other figures? Well, let's find out. All right, here's the Endgame Tech Suit Hulk here. Now, his hand is not the same cutout, but like I said, it bends and flexes, so boom, there, there you go. It's, as you can see, it's definitely not the proper cutout, but hey, it works all the same. Check that out. Looking pretty sweet. Tech Suit Hulk with the gauntlet. I mean, it's not movie accurate, but hey, you know what? It looks pretty cool. All right, now I know you guys are thinking about it because I'm thinking about it too. We got to put this gauntlet on Thanos. All right, moment of truth. Now this is gonna be cool. Now I'm gonna just squeeze it a bit to get it more tensioned. And then we're gonna stick his arm right in there. And it's probably, actually it's not too bad a fit. That little, oh, let me try that again. Okay, there we go. It's, it's a delicate fit, but it still fits. And voila, there is Thanos with the Iron Man Infinity Gauntlet. And he also has his other Infinity Gauntlet, which is substantially smaller, but there you go. There's the ultimate power in the universe. And it, it's also just a total time warp because he has two of every Infinity Stone. So that's just, wow. Multiverse, just like the new Spider-Man trailer did. Oh my God, that's gonna be so insane. Oh, and as a little side note here, if you notice, he can't really do the kind of like holding it forward and all that stuff because his arm just doesn't bend that way. So technically you can kind of put it in sideways like that. It, it doesn't really stick, but as long as you force it up just like that, keep it up. The gravity will keep it up and now you can have Thanos holding the gauntlet in a really cool pose just like that. All right, now the next question is, will Iron Man's gauntlet fit on the actual Iron Man? So let's find out. Here's the Endgame tech suit version here. And as you can see, not really, not the best fit. It kind of flops around and all that stuff. You can kind of move it around and stuff, but his fingers might catch the top a little bit, but for the most part, it, it doesn't fit too well. Although I came to find that if you do this and you just kind of squeeze it around his arm, somehow friction comes from somewhere and it, it kind of stays. It's very delicate though. Actually, never mind. That's some good friction. But if you want to make him in the cool pose, you can always just put his arm up just like Thanos and then let gravity do the dirty work for you of keeping it on. And there you go. You got Iron Man in his Thanos army snapping pose. But you know what? This suit is not accurate to the movie. Here's the Mark 50 Hero Vision version. Let's, let's swap them out. They actually have pretty much the same hands as you can see right there. So we'll move him out of the way there. We'll put the, this on him. It fits just the same because they have the same hand. And now, there you go. Looks much better. You were missing the gold there, but hey, you know what? A lot better than tech suit. Looks pretty cool. I am Iron Man. Uh, okay, but was that supposed to do something? <laughs> and for some comparisons, here he is next to the Hero Vision Infinity War Hulk and the Endgame Tech Suit Hulk. Here's the Endgame Infinity Gauntlet and the plushy Goose the Cat. Here he is next to the Wave 2 repackaged Endgame figures. And here's the Wave 1 basic Endgame figures. As well as the basic Far From Home Stealth Suit Spidey and Molten Man. Oh, <gasps> you knocked over a rocket! Well guys, the gauntlet really makes this figure awesome. And you can technically put it on anyone. You just might need to use some museum putty or tape to keep it on. Now this was actually the one Wave 2 figure that I wanted the most, but also expected to be the hardest to find. So imagine my surprise that I found them first. But anyways, I'm still looking for the other ones and I'll probably just end up getting Captain America, Ant-Man, and the Chitauri since I already have Spidey and Black Panther here, as you can see. So wish me luck finding those. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, no, no, no.